Good night, sleepy head. Well, it's time to go to bed. Say good night, say good night, sleepy head. I said good night, sleepy head. Well, it's time to go to bed. Say good night, say good night. Okay, I'm ready for the night right now. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Good Night, Let Me Hear. Yeah. I am Stephen Harwood. And I am Chapman Jason. Jason Chapman. Chapman. Jason Chapman. French. Mm-hmm. Peter French. Mm-hmm. Oh, for me, it'd be do 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 do. Oh, do 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 what would mine be? I don't know. Communist, communist. Communist, 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 communist. So, on this show, we talk about dreams. We do? Yes, we do. Okay. But I'm not going to talk this, talk about my dream tonight. I'm going to share a dream of all people to have a nightmare. My grandma had when uh, probably about in the 80s. Oh, wow. And if you ask her now, she doesn't want to talk about it. But this dream scared her so bad, she doesn't want to talk about it now. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to share two. They're really short. All right? Okay. Two. 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 Man, my hands are fat. Two. I'm scared. Um, because they said the camera always adds 10 pounds on your hands. So, I was probably... Your hands are soft. Thank you. So, um, I was probably... Six or seven okay. when I had this dream. Okay. So it was probably about 81, 82, around that time frame. Remember um, going over there, spending the night at my grandma's. And she's like, and we talked a lot. My grandma's a good talker. And she would talk to me like a. That's one thing about my grandma back in the day. She talked to me as a person, not as a kid. Yeah. So I was always. Well, that's cool. I, I know I could confide. You know, I guess that's the secret with kids. You just got to conf- Talk to him as a person, not kids. Yeah. Ah, I just discovered the secret of life. Exactly. Hmm. What's this in the show right here? Okay. No. <laughs> Jason, how can we get a hold of you? No, okay. So, um, so my grandma's like, Jay, I had the weirdest dream the other night. I said, you did? She goes, it was a nightmare. And then I'm like, whoa, okay, I'm ready for this. I'm going to tell three dreams, actually. Okay. Three dreams. Because th- th- it all happened. She okay. had three of <laughs> I'm 99% sure <laughs> she had these dreams like back to back each night. Oh my gosh, I'd be afraid to go to sleep. After yeah, that. actually, she got to, to the point where she got afraid to go to sleep. Wow. And she even had a, at the time, call her pastor to pray for her. She goes, I'm having some nightmares. I'm afraid to go to sleep. So the first dream she had, and uh, it was um, she was in bed sleeping in her dream, and she said it was so dark. I mean, she's never seen it that dark in the house before. And she like what she's like, kind of scared because it was so dark. And then she looks into at the window. You you seen my grandma's bedroom before, right? Have you been back there? Yes, that's where the, we installed the computer. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it's still the same way as it was back then. Right. Where the bed is and all that, and they got the window to the south. And, and wasn't uh, there wasn't there like a wall where a door was or something? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Same configuration. Yeah. So. She's in bed, and she looks... And I at, think she's even got a picture of Ronald Reagan in there, doesn't she? She does. I think she has two, actually. <laughs> that's all, that's cool. <laughs> and that's that's the nightmare. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So she looks... Well, there you go again. <laughs> she looks at the window, and there was some light coming through the window. Enough to see a silhouette of a man looking at oh her. Oh, my gosh. And, but only part of the man she could see in the window was the whites of his eyes. That's you know, ca- Kind of like in a cartoon, you know, where they always exaggerate just yeah. the white of the eyes and the black pupils. Right. That's all she could see. Wow. So you know what she does in the dream? In the dream. You know what she does? She gets a knife and stabs him in the face several, 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 several times. I've had dreams that where I have, out of self-defense, done things yeah. like that. And then she woke up pretty upset. Wow. Oh, she said. <laughs> so what would we do? The next night... She um went. She had the another nightmare. In that dream, she um, this is kind of spooky. She was in a tall spooky spooky. She was in a tall 
There's my hand. Can't see my hand there, but you can see my hand here. Can't see my hand. See my hand. See my hand. See. Anyway, she was in a tall building, and she was looking down um, to the ground, and her three boys, Jim, Eddie, and Jeff, were down there. And they're like, come on, Mama. Come on down. We're ready to go. And Grandpa was putting them in the car. She goes, I'll be right down. So she looks away from the balcony, starts heading back into the building, and there's a long, long building. And at the end of the long building, there's a black Grim Reaper type figure standing there to start like, coming closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to her. And the whole time she's like, I, I got to get down there. I got to get down. To my, my family's waiting on me. And the thing just started getting closer and closer. Wow. And by the time they probably got about this close, she woke up. Yeah, That's she don't like that drink. Scary. Yeah, so the next night, poor she, Gladys. Yeah, bless her heart. The next night, she had a dream. She was uh, standing outside, and it was. She said it was a bright, beautiful, blue, sunny day, and big white puffy clouds. Cumulonimbus. Yes, and uh, she was out there with her, one of her friends. And she's, they were talking, and she's like, hey, I want to change the names of the people. She goes, I got a picture of Michael you have to see. And she's like, Michael? And he goes, yeah. And Michael by then had passed away. so And that was her, her friend's husband. So, yeah, Michael's passed away, but I got a picture of him I want, I want you to see. So she goes into her house. She comes back. And it hands the picture to her, right? Mm-hmm. And is there a picture of Michael looking with his ball cap on? And this is an older couple back in the day. So Michael had his, you know, dark sunglasses on, ball cap, and he was looking down at something on the ground in the picture. And in the picture, they're like, from, if I remember right, my grandma said they're like in their front yard. And he's looking down at and it says, and it was like autographed, right? Mm-hmm. It says... In hell, love Michael. Oh my gosh. And that's when my grandma woke up. No, no, no. Take that back. She got scared, obviously. In hell, love Michael. And she looked at his wife, her friend, and all she could do was that sad wow. nod. And then she woke up. That's what happened. And she had all three of these dreams consecutively. Yes, from oh what I remember. Oh my gosh. From what I remember. Because it was like. What did, I mean, what did her pastor tell her? Oh, uh, just prayed for her yeah. pretty much you know what can you do just well, yeah you know, if you're in agreement you know two, two or three more people in agreement you know god will make it happen but here i am little kid praying that my grandma would have another one. Oh no <laughs> but those i mean those have always bothered me though you know she told me those yeah. and i still remember it as a 40 year old man yeah. remember remember those stories and every now and then I'll bring them up, and she don't want to talk about it. Well, them. yeah, I wouldn't either. You know, at eighty plus now, as as old she is, she uh, she's gonna have a birthday here in just a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, well, I'm glad you remind September me. September sixth, I believe. I gotta get a thank you for remembering my card. I gotta get a birthday card. Are y'all doing anything special for a birthday? Uh, I don't know actually. I don't think no one's ever brought it up yet. Yeah. Hmm. I'd like to see her again. I don't even remember the last. I don't think I've seen her since Sammy was born. Oh well, yeah, we'll have to go over there sometime. Oh, crap. We should have went over there last Thursday. <laughs> well, yeah, we should have. Of course, she'll want me to bring my keyboard. Uh, he, <laughs> no, there, there, there'd be no visiting happening. Then. No. Uh, just you be, playing be, the whole time. Right. And I, uh, of course, that'd be nice. That'd be all right. But yeah. Visits. So. Yeah. So, I just always thought those dreams were pretty awesome. You know what? For her birthday, I'm going to bring those up. See what she says. Uh, yeah. So how do we get a hold of you? You can get a hold of me at scharwood at gmail.com. And you get a hold of me at goodnight sleepyhead show at gmail.com. Link down below. So I pray tonight you'll have a nightmare. I was going to say, so I'm not the first person that you've <laughs> prayed for, that you've prayed for that sort of thing for. Uh, that's fun. Let's all celebrate. Let's boogie now Get on the dance floor I'll show you how
Let's all celebrate. Let's boogie now. Get on the dance floor. I'll show you how.